Hello guys, I'm Lyndon from Nagini Pythons, and today I'll be going over what snakes you should buy to start your ball python breeding business. Now there are many ways to go about starting a ball python breeding business, but I'm going to go over what I think is the best way. Hopefully, this should provide you a roadmap to start your ball python breeding business. When starting any business, you got to realize that it's going to take time. This is especially true for ball python breeding. Females can take up to three years to mature, and males usually take around one year. That's a long time to wait. Now here's the catch when you're starting a ball python breeding business. The more money you spend, the more money you'll make. And this really goes for any business. When you're first starting out, I always recommend that you buy some breeder females that you can breed the next year. This way you don't have to wait three years just to make one set of babies. These larger snakes will cost you a lot more money, but you'll be able to breed snakes the next year. This is key so you don't get burned out waiting for three years for your hatchlings to mature. I would recommend you only get two to three adult females. This way, a lot of your money will be invested into those high-end hatchlings. For those adult females, I recommend you get them anywhere from $500 to $800. This way, you'll have some simple genes to pair with that powerhouse male that I'll talk about later in this video. Doing this will keep you excited and give you good practice for when you deal with those really high-end snakes. In business, there are things called fixed costs and variable costs. Fixed costs are your upfront investment and variable costs costs are the cost that you incur down the line. The more money you pay for a snake, the higher the fixed cost will be, but the lower the variable cost will be. Say your snake costs $10 to feed every month. It costs that no matter if it's a $100 snake or a $1,000 snake. $10 is 10% of $100 and $10 is 1% of $1,000. So the more money you put into a snake, the less your food cost will be and the less your housing cost will be. In my opinion, it is better to buy one $1,000 snake than 10 $100 snakes. Your cost for those 10 snakes will be significantly higher than the cost for that one snake, but they'll have the exact same return. In the beginning, I would recommend you buy three females for every one male. Your female should be between $1,000 and $5,000, and your male should be anywhere between $1,000 to $10,000. This way you have some high quality females, but you also have that one powerhouse male that you can breed to all of them and get those genes. When it comes to buying snakes in that price range, you should be investing in recessive, double recessive, or even triple recessive snakes. This is because recessives hold their value much longer and stay at a higher price. Some of the recessive projects I would recommend you get invested in are the Pied Project, the Clown Project, and the Sunset Project. You also should be having some co-dominant traits on top of your recessive traits. This will just add that extra layer of value and just skyrocket the price because it makes your snake even harder to reproduce. When you breed that $1,000 female to that $2,000 male, you'll get four to 10 eggs. Each of those eggs will be worth anywhere from $1,000 to $3,000. This strategy can allow you to make a lot of money with very limited space. If you're not trying to run your snakes as a business, don't worry about all this. Get a couple hundred dollar snakes. It's tons of fun. Thank you for watching. Make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and follow us on Instagram.